Can I ask, as parents, what does it feel like to know that your, your child is suffering and to spend a year and a half trying to figure out what the issue is? It's heartbreaking. Um, I personally have a panic disorder from her disease. Um, I feel like maybe adults with lymphedema go through the same thing. It's half mental, half physical. It's the worst feeling in the world, just you know, knowing something's wrong and not knowing exactly what to do for or how to even get the help to take care of the problem. It's just a helpless feeling. I would imagine there's a certain element of anger when you get through with it as well as to why did we have to spend a year and a half to find out that uh, a disease that affects so many is actually unrecognized by most uh, hospitals, doctors, clinics, therapists, so that you're left so alone. Well, thanks very much, and I think now it's time to go up and meet uh, Assemblymember Rosenthal uh, so they could read the resolution honoring uh, Emma in the Assembly, and then we'll head over to the Senate where Senator Amadori will be doing the same thing on the Senate floor and creating all that recognition and awareness uh, that we're here to do. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're very honored. <laughs> we're very honored. Are you excited? All ready right. for your close-up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You ready? <laughs> Thank you so much. Doctors, doctors who treat women with breast cancer and other diseases that may lead to lymphedema, they don't even discuss it with their patients. And I was horrified to learn that. But people go through breast cancer treatment, they think they're okay, and all of a sudden they get lymphedema. They don't even know what it is. And so we really need to educate the medical community about this. Another thing I was horrified to learn is that most insurance doesn't pay for the, for the support garments. I mean, that's something we have to change. That's necessary. It's not a, a frivolous, oh, I'd love to have this paid for. It's necessary for people who have lymphedema. So, you know, these are the things that I'm working on with LEARN, and uh, we have a good long partnership. If Emma doesn't wear her compression garments, her legs can swell up and get bigger. She needs those compression garments at night to help control it, you know, along with uh, the massage therapy and also some wrapping as well. So it's very important for her to, to have that. She's a superhero. She's taking on the challenge. She's working hard. She's fighting for the cause. She's advocating to raise money for LEARN uh, program, for uh, lymphedema awareness, and making sure that there's other New Yorkers who can someday finally be cured through the researches uh, that, that she helped raise money for. Also, it was an opportunity to honor Academy Award winning actress Kathy Bates. Kathy has uh, lymphedema as a result of having had a double mastectomy uh, a few years ago. And now she's become LEARN's spokesperson and is out there on the front lines creating awareness for this disease. I'm a big supporter of LEARN and I've worked very closely with uh, Bill Rapici and a lot of the, the people involved with LEARN. And LEARN is really getting the word out, it, organizing, um, doing events so that people become aware about lymphedema. Uh, today was a banner day for lymphatic disease and lymphedema. And I think it sets us up for several agendas going forward. Certainly we would love to see New York State move forward with a, with a bill that provides insurance funding for people who suffer from these diseases and need compression garments and other treatments. It also helps build awareness with New York State being the place where this starts so it spreads nationwide. And thirdly, with the hope that New York State continues to chip in to help us with our National Patient Registry and Tissue Bank so that we can find the treatments and cures of the future. That's why we joined the walk, you know, we thought we could raise a little money to help any way we could and just spreading the word. Facebook, what a silly thing, but that is how we raised our money, was through Facebook. And look, look what it's led to. Right. Because from Emma's <laughs> Incredibles, which is the group with all your, your capes on. Our capes, we <laughs> have them. Walk, the Cape Crusaders, uh, here you are at the state capitol being recognized by the Senate and the Assembly for uh, your efforts. And of course, obviously, Emma. And we are here efforts. for years to come for whatever we need to do to make this easier on anyone who suffers with a lymphatic disease. I, I really think we're at the beginning uh, of a movement and a movement of people who are ready to say, I'm angry, I'm not going to put up with it anymore, and I demand change. I demand research. I demand that there be clinics. I demand uh, that there be funding. Thank you, Lauren, for honoring me. I had a great day. <laughs>